What up, teacups? It's your fairy vlog mother, and welcome back to Read Only Memories. And we are picking it right back where we left off, headed back to the Stardust Club. Gotta click back into the game. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Hells yeah. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. Oh, you haven't, have you? We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Handy. I just need to ask you a few questions. This is an exciting thing, I promise. Of course it is. Uh, cool, bring it on. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. I feel like this section could have used a different voice. I like the different face, but I feel like a more robot-esque voice would have been better. I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. Yes. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Okay, uh, now last time we used Panda, but uh, this time I think I'm going to go in a different direction. I don't know if he'll actually say my name or not. But it would be really cool if they tried. I doubt that they will, though. Those who watch my uh, Star Drunk Valley series might know where this is going. Oh, exactly on the character limit. Ah, they're not gonna say it. Thank you. I have input your name. Damn. Oh well. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Now this part I'm going to show off to you guys because that not only do they lead with they, them, which is awesome, but on the other side they have these ones, which I'd never even seen before, and you can even make custom pronouns, which is hella dope. I think that's really amazing. We're going to go with the ones I actually use, but there we go. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. That's what I'm used to. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Now, I don't think they say any other one except this one. So, we're gonna go with this one. Diet set as goddammit touring. Are you sure? Hells yeah, I am. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Of course you will. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy, or restart setup to enter it again. Does yes. that sound right? Yeah, it does. Thank you. See? That was relatively painless. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Alrighty, let's go. I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one another better. It will be an efficient use of our time together. Thank you for escorting me here. Aw, anytime, buddy. Let's head back to your home. Alrighty, Cyber Dobby, let's go. Oh, they've added nice little tip tippy tippities in the uh, cutscene areas. That was not there before. Okie dokie. There we go. There we are. I do like the little cuts, like the little intro clips in between. That's very nice. You know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. Have you been overwatering it? Maybe. 
You don't know my life. Don't judge me. Ah, uh, what? Uh, sure. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. Delightful. Plant's name is Wilty. I got it from a friend. Huh. Thoughtful of them. The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. And yet I'm killing it anyways. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Well, that didn't work for me. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. Mm. So cute. Okay, so what do you want? What do you want me to do about the plant? Uh, what do you want me to do about the plant? I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. Okay. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Okay, Turing. Excellent. The supplies should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. The belief? Are you looking at the spelling, guys? Because I did not miss that pun. That pun was not wasted on me, okay? Nice. A plus pun usage. Mwah. Love it. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Um, I don't want to go through the mildew thing. Okay. Still, I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. Alright, let's go. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Sweet. Let's go to the Stardust, baby, let's go! Clubbing, clubbing, clubbing! Okay, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. Alrighty. And I think I remember from last time that I need to use my ID on this guy. There we go. Alright, looks good to me. Ugh, I wasn't trying to look at it. I was trying to go in. Welcome to Stardust. I love that even some of the side characters have voices. Place. Have you ever been here before? Uh, no, but I know we're gonna be back here a lot, so... The atmosphere is certainly exciting. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights are having on your autonomic nervous system. Uh, how did you know that, Turing? Are you spying on my brain hole? That's not cool. Try not to let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we've achieved our goal. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, the sass on this guy! Anyway, where do you think we should start? Let's check out the dance floor. Good idea. Perhaps one of the patrons knows of this Tomcat. Let's do that thing. Okay, let's see if I can talk to Cat Lady and not piss her off. Yes, can I help you? Ooh, I like your voice. Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to cutie cruising. Alrighty. And no, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. <laughs> it may surprise you coming from a nasty hybrid, but I actually don't need luck. 
Even genotypicals flirt with me. Not like I want them to. Alrighty. And I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. Okay, we'll do. Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Alrighty, I'm not not trying to get in your way. Okay. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. I'm trying! Super definitely trying, bruh! Hey, what's up? Having a good time? Yeah, do you know Tomcat or something? Ah, sorry, never heard of him. You should check the arcade, bruh. Okay. Alright, let's dance in! Well, yeah, but also Tomcat, though. Oh, Tomcat, yeah, I think I was dancing with that person a bit ago. No idea where they are now. Try checking the bar. They've got some wicked drinks, by the way. I guess we'll check the arcade first and then the bar. Talking to you. Hey, have you checked out the Mega Foe Beater? I heard that machine has donated to the Stardust recently, but it's been having problems since it got here. Hey, something just doesn't seem right once you get to the boss, you know? Well, I've never gotten to the boss, and that's not going to happen today. And this is the barrier between the arcade and the VIP section. Apparently being isolated far away from the bar, dance floor, and video games makes you important somehow. Alrighty, to the bar it is. Not gonna do the game right now because I'm just gonna mess it up. Okay, talking to my friend Majid. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Hell yeah. Can we ask you a few questions? Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. <laughs> What'll it be? Uh, let's see. What do I want? The butch flower, the air drink, the fucking I don't know. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? I don't fucking know. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. <laughs> Cheers, bitches. This has a mint flavored soda and a swig of gin. Sounds good to me. I love gin. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Ah, huh. all right. You got it. Coming right up. Fucking, I don't know. Oh. Now, what is it you need to know? Tell me about Tomcat, because that's what we came here for. I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. Hmm. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Okay. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Alrighty, Rue. How about Hayden? Hayden. Scientist guy. Does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Yep. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Well, no shit. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. Eh, it works. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. Well, we already know about his background from the last playthrough, so let's just keep going. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. Will do. Thank you. What's up, Tomcat? I, what if happens if I give the drink to... Oh, I can't give her the drink, damn it. Can I give the drink to Tomcat? Nope. Okay, we're just gonna talk to you then. Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. The one accent I got right. Yay. Yours truly, though. What's up, baby? Although, while I, I like the attention, it'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. Well, if you were easy to find. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Mm-hmm. Nah. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hayden is not where we need him to be. Can help you, yes? Hayden's missing. Well, it's one way to sour my night. Sorry! I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Mm-hmm. Do you know about 
me? What if I did it this whole time? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Tell us about you. How do you know Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in Libs. Cool. He puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most, uh, straightforward kind of man. Okay. What was he working on? Uh, do you know why he is gone? I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax oh. found out about it somehow, Ooh, that might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> Understandable. I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him, but... He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. What was he working on? Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. Okay. I don't care about those. As it suits you, hon. Tell us about you. What was your relationship? How do we find Hayden? Yeah, I'm not real sure, hon. But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. That yeah, makes sense. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? Will do. We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. Alrighty, Rue. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. Sounds good to me. The data cache would be the best place to start. Okay. We, we good will luck. Turn, you you keep out of trouble. Mm-hmm. Now maybe I can use. I wanna give my drink to I can't use my drink on you. Can I use my drink on the others? No. Can I use my drink on anyone? No. I can't use my drink on anyone. Uh, I can't use my drink on anything, so I'll just leave. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go on over to the map. And then we're gonna go on over to Hayden's. Which is up here. There we go. All citizen, this area has been cordoned off by the NEOSF Police Department as a part of an ongoing investigation. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Uh, no, but we, we gotta get in there, though. No. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized NEOSFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set to level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. Uh, but, but we need to get in there, though? I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge, who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. 
They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any person found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Okay. Oh, brat. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. Yep. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Mm-hmm. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? As a matter of fact, that does. Who would that be? Oh, little somebody called Lexi! I had no such connection when I compiled your personal history. It's Lexi, bruh. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Does you? Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. Mm-hmm. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence. What can I say, bro? I'm a books person in this universe, I guess. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. What kind of needs exactly? I'm sorry? It's okay. We'll work on it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. You'll get me a tumbler and everything? Cool. I'm glad you got my back. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. I don't hate it! I'm just apparently not on it very much right now. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. Mm-hmm. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. He's so cute. He says boon. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. That you that shall we do, yes, please. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Probably. Probably should do that thing. If you want to keep all your digital teeth. I I don't even have any teeth. It's so cute. <clears throat> I mean, done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Nope. Now lead the way. I will do that thing in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Please check out the poll in the description below or leave me a comment. And who knows, your wish just might get granted. Toodles! <laughs>